So our fifth um, speaker is John Beckford from Takara Bio. And again, Takara is a group that's was involved with the, practically the formation of the um, air community all along, has been a, a supporter of the air community. So glad to welcome John. So good afternoon, everybody. <laughs> I'm John Beckford and I'm a scientist at Carbile. And today I'm gonna to be talking about um, the latest when it comes to BCR and TCR profiling from Carbile. So quickly, just wanna go over the company. Um, so we're headquartered in Japan. And then outside of that, we have locations in the United States, across Europe, across Asia, um, obviously outside of Japan. And as a company, we provide molecular biology products for a wide variety of applications. Um, I'm not gonna rattle through all this, but if you see an area that you're interested in, please consider to call bio products. <clears throat> but I'm gonna highlight next generation sequencing. So Takara Bio uh, offers NGS solutions for a wide variety of applications and, and sample types, um, DNA, RNA, high input, low input, single cell. And then on the RNA level, uh, whole RNA, total RNA, mRNA. <laughs> And then targeted solutions, the bulk of which comprises the bulk of which is comprised by uh, TCR and BCR profiling solutions. <laughs> and then today I'm going to be talking about TCR and BCR V2. So when it comes to immune profiling, we have human and mouse uh, TCR and BCR bulk solutions. But then when it comes to single cell, we have human uh, we have a single cell TCR profiling solution. And then later this year, we're gonna be coming out with a new updated smarter BCR profiling kit. And then with this kit, we're gonna be capturing more chains. So IgA, IgD, and IgE, in addition to the, the previous chains. And then we're gonna have full length sequencing as well as CDR3 only sequencing. Um, the full length will be on the MySeq only, but then the CDR3 only will be on the um, on other uh, Illumina instruments like the NextSeq, the NovaSeq things like that. And then also we're gonna have um, unique dual indexing for multiplexing of up to 384 samples on a single run. Next. And then there's gonna be no new TCR kit, but recently we validated our TCR V2 kit for use with rhesus monkey samples. And in doing so, we, we, uh, we've essentially brought to market the first end-to-end -end rhesus monkey TCR profiling solution. So if you're currently using the TCR V2 kit, you can now use it with your rhesus monkey samples. But if you're not and you're into rhesus monkey work, you can use this kit for TCR profiling if you're interested. And you can do this without any changes to the protocol. So no special primers, no changes to the PCR conditions, and there's no compromise to TCR V2 features. So you still have the UDIs, you still have the multiplexing up to 384 samples and you still have the flexible sequencing. So either full length or CDR3 only. And then just as you know, we've always shown with the, with the human samples, um, TCR clonotype detection is robust and reproducible with, when using rhesus monkey samples. So on the left-hand side, I have, a, I have some data showing um, consistent clonotype counts, whether you do CDR3 only sequencing or full length sequencing. Um, and then on the right-hand side, we show that from replicate to replicate, uh, clonotype size would be the same whether you're using um, 10 nanograms of input or 100 nanograms of input. And then to you know, just finish up, I wanted to introduce our Cogent NGS immune profiler software. And essentially what this is, is uh, a solution to process your FASTQ data. So essentially what it does is it performs the UMI correction and then does the clonotype um, uh, identification and processing and you know, uh, the generation of that final clonotype table. And we've shown that this, or we've shown that our Cogent IP solution is uh, similar, comparable in terms of performance to Mixer V3. So um, when you use our TCR and BCR profiling kits, you can just use our Cogent NGS immune profiler to process your data and move on with your analysis, essentially. And then in conclusion, 
um, our smarter BCR profiling kit or BCRV2 is UDI enabled and captures more IG chains. Um, that was shown in yesterday's poster, uh, 112. And then um, the next conclusion is the smarter human TCR alpha beta profile kit TCRV2 is validated for use with rhesus monkey samples and that will be posted 204 today. Um, and then next TCRV2 and BCRV2 offer the uh, flexibility of full length or CDR3 only sequencing. So you can go on pretty much any Illumina instrument you want. And then our free cogent NGS immune profiler is compatible with human uh, or rhesus uh, TCR and um, BCR profiling uh, data. And that's good science. That's it.